It is a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Bruce Lee. While you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proving ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for a notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. So here we go, you can argue it's the biggest fight in mixed martial arts history. Conor McGregor and Bruce Lee. If you're Bruce Lee, you got to be mindful of that left-hand McGregor. you got to be mindful. But Bruce Lee has the ability to keep space and distance and manage it like no one I have ever seen before. From his front side push kicks, just his speed. I don't think Conor's ever been in there with anyone that has the speed of Bruce Lee. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Lands with the right hand. 
look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal to this point. He's fighting, and he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. All 25 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. And then he throws an overhand left. Oh, and he lands again. Way to hide that leg shit. Back and forth we go. Oh, huge right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Lands a big elbow there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All oh, collar tie. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. Whoa! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with that. What a point so far. Great job of mixing everything up. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get. Oh! Tonight he's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. 
And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Good series. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Attack to the feet. Whoa! Oh! Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's rewack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans going to stop this contest at 4 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, the no -talk.